Yeah, y'all slept on these. Ah, what's up with it? YouTube, y'all know what time it is. It's your boy Ron Got Soul, and I'm back, and we back. <clears throat> Dang, boy, still feeling a little underwater. But we back with another video, you feel me? And today, <clears throat> I really don't feel like making my bed up, and I'm not. Um, Yeah, man, and today, man, it's finna be a little cool, um, finna be a little cool, probably do a mob vlog, finna go get some good food, y'all already know how we do on the channel, we do good food, and we talk about random stuff, you know what I'm saying, and we do mob vlogs or whatever like that, and then we do outfit of the day, you know what I'm saying, the boy, I'm feeling kinda, I'm feeling kinda fresh today. You feel me? We're feeling kind of fresh or whatever like that. But um, I'm going to show y'all the outfit when we get to another, you know, how we do, man. We like, you know, scenic scenic backgrounds when we do our outfits of the day. You know what I'm saying? So um, I'm going to take y'all along with your boy. You feel me? Let's get it. So, man, look, man. What's today's topic, bro? Let's talk about this whole R. Kelly situation, man, because... Everybody and their mama is talking about R. Kelly. Yeah, I mean, I really don't want to talk about it, but since everybody talking about it, might as well talk about it, man. So, R. Kelly, man. Okay, so as y'all know, they came out with a three-video series bringing up all the accusations in a group of women that came forward in 2019 to, to bring forth, okay, it's been rumors for years about R. Kelly with the kids, but it died down, but all of a sudden it's resurfaced again because I, I, I don't know, it, it seems like people that did dirt back in the day, they going after those people now, you know what I'm saying? So. One thing about this, man, no, I don't agree with the what the hell, the accusations. I don't agree with the whole him with the girls and, you know, I believe there's some truth to it. But I believe, man, like, the man, the man's legacy has already been made. I don't know if they finna try to destroy the man, but, I mean, you can't destroy the man is, is talented, the man is, 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 you know what I mean, is... A genius, a musical genius, you know what I'm saying? And y'all can't take that away from me. Y'all still go have R. Kelly in the playlist. Y'all still gonna jam to his music. And one of the ladies, I think it was the ex-wife, was just caught singing a nigga music, like singing a nigga songs. And you know what I'm saying? So why, you know what I'm saying, is everybody, you know what I'm saying, trying to... I don't care if it was my daughter. Number one, this is what I gotta say, bro. You gotta watch out, man. Like All right, we'll slow your ass down, man. Did you see? Get over okay, it. well. Just stay watch out for they do. Nigga had a bike seat on his head. <laughs> hey, man, look, man. I believe. Okay, if, if, if what he did was wrong, they should have, and they found him guilty of it back then, they should have did what they was going to do to R. Kelly then. But it's 2019, and y'all trying to expose this man. The man been exposed a long time ago. I'm not agreeing with nothing he did. Because, number one, I believe those girls, they knew what the hell was going on, too. And I believe this is what happened, man. I believe those girls parents told them not to go with R. Kelly, number one. But I believe those are some fast-ass little girls that rebelled against their parents' advice and went anyway. And, for the, and some of the parents agreed to let them go. So, I think... 
I think what happened was when their child didn't become when their child didn't become the big star that he promised them to be that's when they start bringing forth all these allegations and I think that's when that's when things went left you know what I'm saying that don't excuse him that don't that don't excuse him but I think that's when it became a real problem when they daughters took their fast ass on and got smashed and didn't become superstars like R. Kelly swindled them and smooth talked them into doing there's no excuse but my thing is why bring it up now though you know what I'm saying? Like, why bring this whole situation up now? This man been in the game for 20 plus years already. And y'all just now trying to go after this guy? Come on, man. Y'all can't touch him. All y'all could do is bring up some old stuff. And y'all knew what this was a long time ago. The man called himself the Pied Piper. You know what I'm saying? If y'all did any research on who the Pied Piper was... It was a guy that played a musical instrument and led and and led the kids away from home, the younger generation, and they followed him and they were all hypnotized to his music and never came back home. They never seen the kids again. So look up the story of the Pied Piper, man. Y'all see why he called himself the Pied Piper. But my thing is, why bring it up now though? Like I mean, it's too late. Like, I guess they trying to go after him like they went after Bill Cosby. You know what I'm saying? And got this man going to jail at 90 years old. Like, come on, bro. Like, I mean, like, I just don't see the point in it, man. Like I say, do I think it's some truth to all allegations? I believe so. I believe there's some truth to allegations. He should have paid back then if they really want to go after him. They been had the, all the allegations and so-called proof and people been came forward. So why now, though? Why does it matter the time? It does matter, matter the time. Because number one, because number one, this man don't. I'm going to tell you why. Hey, hey, I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why that they don't, they can't touch this man. Number one, the man went to court in jail for some similar charges way back in the gap way back in the day some domestic stuff and and those charges were brought up against him then they found him guilty for something else so they got a, a thing that's called a law of double jeopardy that man already served time and did what it paid for what he did in the past they can't bring new allegations for the same for, for the old charge because that's what the law of double jeopardy is about. They can't do nothing to that man, man. The man, you can't do nothing to that. Y'all, all y'all can do is have people come forward and say stuff. But y'all have no proof, no 100% proof that this man molested these girls. All they, ha I mean, now do we do we think he? I don't think he molested them. I think they knew what the hell was going on, and they willingly had sex with this man. That's what I believe. Sure, he was a womanizer. Sure, he smooth talked them. Sure, he ran games. Sure, he did all of that. But those females knew what the hell was going on, man. What he did was wrong. But I believe that the, the parents and the kids had a big, a big part to play in this. So it was crazy. The people that's bringing all these accusations for it. What's the what, what, what's the crazy part to me about it is. Man, people like love to expose other people and, and for their sins and for what they did. But half them people behind, I have them directors, half them, they all living double lives, man. But they want to condemn somebody else, man, for some old stuff that y'all really don't got no proof of right now. All y'all can do is got he say, she say stuff. And the man ain't going to do no time for that. You know what I'm saying? So my thing is, man, sure, he's got everybody talking. Sure, it's got everybody speculating again it's resurfaced but y'all still gonna jam the man music and y'all still gonna talk y'all y'all still gonna y'all that's what y'all still gonna do you know what i'm saying i don't know man i guess whatever man i guess it's for the tv or whatever whatever like that man but that's 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 today's real talk you know what i'm saying y'all come below man i'm gonna i'm gonna do i'm gonna start doing these topics and and in car talks and you know what i'm saying i'm a i think i might call it real talk of the day you know 
but we can do that, you know what I'm saying? But y'all comment below and give me some ideas. If y'all want to know my opinion on other current events and topics, man, y'all drop comments and topics down below and we can uh, we can address those or whatever. I'm going to try to do this like at least once a week, man. So uh, that's today's real talk. So, um, yeah. All right, man. So restaurant of the day, man. Restaurant of the day, man. We we pulling up at uh uh in my city the H, you know what I'm saying? We pulling up at uh Phil and Derrick's, man. Cool little spot. I've been here a couple times. You feel me? Um, good food. It's a brunch place, you know what I'm saying? So you can get you know breakfast and lunch. You know what I'm saying? They sell stuff like chicken, waffles, omelets. You know what I'm saying? Uh, peach cobbler, all that good stuff, you know what I'm saying? So, um, we finna pull up on Phil and Derrickson. Uh, we finna see what's good, man. I'ma show y'all what it's looking like, you know. You feel me? Let's get it. Ooh, yeah, man. Y'all slept on these, bro. I'm telling y'all, slept on these, man. Quick on feet, quick on feet, quick on feet. All right, man. So, we in Phil and Derrick's. Um, and I'm gonna let y'all look and see what it look like. Like I say, you can get breakfast or lunch over here, man. So right now, I'm finna show y'all what it's looking like, man. We got uh, jambalaya, 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 slice. We got greens, catfish nuggets, greens. I think this is fried chicken. Baked chicken, yams, bacon. Got it all up in here, man. Definitely got it all up in here. I've been going with the grilled chicken for right now. It's cheese grits. It's the truth, though, man. Y'all live at Philly Darius, man. Try this cheese grits out. You hear? If y'all want to go to, hey, fella, if y'all want to go to like a, a brunch place and y'all just want to hang out and see some women, Hey man, feeling Derrick's man, feeling Derrick's. <laughs> hey man, cause it's like a like a club like brunch brunch place. It's well, why it. you gotta be looking for women? Shut you the just hell up. Breakfast. Why hey man, I'm just enjoying this. Hey, I'm just enjoying the scenery, man. It's just okay. Orange juice and a champagne glass. Hey, look at my drink. Look at my drink, bro. Look at my drink. Yes, sir. Cheers. Cheers. So your boy finish that plate and I'm finna go get some breakfast now, you know what I'm saying? So we we'll take y'all along with me. Let's get it, man. So now your boy finna get an almond and a waffle, you know what I'm saying? Like I say, cause they got they got breakfast and they got dinner over there, you know what I'm saying? So it's like a brunch place. It's pretty cool over here, man. And then they cook it right in front of you, so look. Yeah, man. Hey, man, if y'all ever in Houston, man, hey, fade that feeling digs, bro. Hey, man. Cool, cool. Good vibes, man, up in there, man. Good vibes, you feel me? Good food, good music, you know what I'm saying? Pretty cool laid back atmosphere, you know what I mean? It's a cool little area over here, too, man. It's like outskirts of Third Ward, man, area. They got some nice. Nice townhomes and uh, the condos and cooler, cooler, you know what I'm saying? Cooler area to live in, you feel me? Back in the day, man, this, this area wasn't worth like nothing, but now, like, this location is popping, like, on the outskirts of downtown, outskirts of the third ward area, man. They, they, re they it's popping, man. All right, man. So I'm at the Galleria. Hey, man. If you not from Houston, man, we, the mall to go to when you touch down in the H is the Galleria Mall. Galleria Mall. You feel me? Got all the high-end stores, all the boutiques, all the designer stores or whatever like that, man. So uh, yeah, man. But your boy is finna go in here. Um, we about to go up in here and see what's you know was uh well you know it's a couple of re releases came out we finna see you know what i'm saying 
if you know what we can find or whatever like that. You feel me? So I'm um, take y'all along with me, man. So let's get it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I actually been seeing a lot of pictures of these guys, man. A lot of pictures, man. I've been seeing a lot of freaking pictures online of these, man. And this this colorway is. I seen that boy Pat is dope doing a review on these. These ones kind of live. I like this colorway. And here go the Jordan wall, man. Everything is sitting. Everything. You got the uh, Jordan 5 um, satins. Got these boys up in here. Got the uh, Jimmy Butler, the diffused blue, whatever like that. These boys chilling up in here. Sir, these are, these are never going to sell out. No, sir. Got the aqua joints chilling, man. I bought these, man, but I did not, I did not wear mine yet. These MS kind of dope, but they ODing on the MS colors, man. Everything like these, I like this. It's like the a Lakers color, yellow and purple and black. They kind of dope. These actually kind of fresh, man. I like this colorway, but they'll be on sale just like every other MS, man. All these other MS are on sale. Boy, they OD on MS. <laughs> Some of these MXs are dope, some of them just like, eh. Dang, they got these down to 110. These boys live, man. They got the NMDs in here for 80 bucks, man. I ain't never seen this colorway in the boost, man. These actually kind of dope. I like these Ultra Boosts. It's a dope ass color in the Speed Turf. The throwback Dennis Rodman's on sale, 105. They got a, like a wheat colorway. These boys kind of dope. Chilling on them right now, man. I ain't gotta have it. It's not a shoe that's a must cop for me. No, sir. So there go these hot punch things, man. This, this shoe is wild, boy. <laughs> I don't know, man. They cool, though. I like the style, man. I ain't never seen this type of style before, though, but these don't. I like these. Got these dope ass raw shoes. Got these dope ass Pippa Hardaways, but they got these super bronze in here, man. Look, man, I don't even, they got they got my size in these four. I don't know, man. These ones actually kind of fresh, man. And like they pop on feet, like these ones pop. Let's say pop. Hey, man. Hey, them, them foes actually with the right outfit. Them foes are pop, man. Hey, man, with the right outfit, man. Them foes are pop, bro. For real, for real. All right, so we pulling up in foot action, man. Finna see what these boys got up in here, man. Foot action? Yeah, this is foot action. Got some Jordan 1s, like some orange, blue strings. These guys sold out online, man, but uh, I don't know, man. It seems like every Jordan 1 need come out that we sell or not. Like, that's kind of like a aqua colorway. I don't know. It's clean, though. Got these Russell Westbrooks up in here. That's dope. That's dope. I like that part right there. Yeah. That look kind of cool. That look pretty clean. We got these hot punch foes in here, man. Like I say, I'm tempted to cop them, but like, but with the right outfit though, like I ain't gonna lie though, with the right outfit, man, these boys be wet. These foes be wet, man. With the right outfit, these boys be wet. I ain't gonna lie to you. Oh man, like I say, man, these guys, I mean, they clean, don't get me wrong, man, they clean, man, and a nigga do want a cop, I do want a cop, but I just don't feel like I need these guys, man, but they dope, man, it's a dope shoe, man, I like, hey, man, if y'all looking for the mellow, man, the 19s, man, hey, they got them in here, man, ooh, will we get brand 11s this year? Will we get the playoff 12s this year? Hey, they teasing us with all these guys, man. They definitely teasing us, man. Got all the throwbacks in here, man. Got Raptor Simmons. Hey, man, I wouldn't mind having these. I wouldn't mind having these, man. Oh, but are we getting these guys? Ooh, with that Nike L on the back. Hey, you know what? I think we getting all these sneakers this year. I think that's why they got them displayed like this, man, because look at all, look at all these. I would definitely cop every last single one. I already have these, but I don't have none. And I got these. But I will buy another pair if they re-release, man. But hey, man, hey, Joe, hey, hey, foot, hey, foot action, man. Why y'all doing it to us, man? But I think these will work. I think with the Nike Air on the back, yeah, we getting these, man. They just teasing us with these guys, man. They teasing us with these guys. 
Okay, man, we got the Tinker 8s in here, man. Like I say, man, these are dope, and I would cop, man, but for the low, low. The boy would cop for the low, but uh, when they go on sale. But I like, actually like this shoe, man. I just feel like next next month, it's a bunch of heat dropping that your boy Ron got sold. Gonna be uh, running the checkup for it. But this month, pretty much for the, for the most part, man, only thing I'm going after is off whites this month, man. And I'm gonna sleep on everything else, man. But these right here is, is way though, man. But for the low, I hey, man, I'm my OG sneaker heads. Y'all remember these, man. These them Eddie Jones, man. Ooh, these mugs hard, man. I remember these guys, man. Y'all don't know who Eddie Jones is. He used to play for the Lakers, man. But this was his shoe. This is the shoe he was balling out in, man. They got him up in here, but I already know. A couple months down the line, you can catch these for like $65. Like I caught the Van Bakers on sale for. But uh, yeah, man, they got him in here. I ain't gonna lie, man. Everybody been on these Puma RX waves. Uh, these actually kind of dope, man. I don't know, man. What y'all think, man? I ain't gonna lie, man. Them, them Puma RX joints, hey, them all, them all actually kind of hard on feet, though, man. I actually kind of like those, man. I'm finna go upstairs and uh to the Puma store and see uh, uh if I can. And I heard they got them Optimus Prime joints up in there. I'm finna go up there and see if they got them joints up there, man. I'm gonna go check them out, though. Take out with me. So they got these Optimus Prime colorways in here, in the colorway as well. You know, it's kind of dope. They play. Got some Hot Wheels edition. Hey, man. So look, man. Hey. Your boy was able to come up on the Puma RX joints, you feel me? Optimus Prime joints, you know what I'm saying? And your boy, hey, we're gonna break them down later on, you feel me? We're gonna definitely break them down. It's the thing about going to the mall with chicks, man. Got a nigga up in Vicky Secrets sniffing panties and stuff, man. Come on, man. World of draws. Bro, you don't put these glittery ass draws, man? Oh, uh, there's no place like home at having ass draws. Shiny ass draws, man. You gonna pull your pants off and you look like a disco ball. <laughs> Get me the hell out of here, man. You keep on picking up these shiny ass, glittery ass draws, man. Get me the hell out of here, man. Man, hey, these are these are Air Max, man. Plus, these are dope right here, man. Man, dope, hey. Got these Pumas. We in a uh, chic, they got these ice white pennies. I kind of like these right here. Puma, these Puma uh, RSX is kind of dope, man. Yeah, man, so, as you can see, man, your boy, hey, man, one cop today, and this is my first cop of the year, or whatever like that, but, uh, man, we about to wrap this mild vlog up, man, and, uh, hey, man, we gonna break these uh, Puma RSX joints down. When uh when I leave up out of here, man. But uh yeah, man. See y'all back in the car. So as y'all boys can see, man. Hey, man. Hey, look. First cop of 2019. First official cop of 2019. Puma uh RSX joint uh transformer guys. You know what I'm saying? I seen a couple cats pick these up, man. T Ward. I seen Mr. Skinny picked him up a pair. And I walked inside the Puma store and they had them in there, you know what I'm saying? So, um, hey man, I had to cop. I ain't gonna do an in-depth review of these guys right now, today. I'm gonna say that for another video, but um, I'm gonna definitely do a, a on feet and the outfit of the day of these. Hello? Hi, right, yeah, I'm gonna be over there. Oh, what's good with it, man? Hey, look, man, so look. Say look, man. I know I couldn't, I had to hit y'all off, you know what I'm saying? With a quick outfit of the day, you know what I'm saying? You know, I couldn't leave without doing it. We, uh, we in, what is this, man? Get a pan around where we at, man. This is, uh, Sam Samson Lofts or whatever like that. Pretty cool, pretty cool little place, man. I get hey, man, hey, look, so, so, so we fresh today, you feel me? We fresh. It's, it's beautiful out here, you know what I mean? Um, hey, look, man quick outfit of the day you know i had to do it you know i, I couldn't leave this vlog without topping y'all off with the outfit of the day so um outfit of the day you know what i'm saying we got the um the 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 zip up bomber jacket and all they know it ain't going nowhere man hey man <laughs> it'd be funny man we having these little cars sound like they moving a hundred thousand miles an hour it'll be little matchbox cars they'll, they'll be moving real slow but 
Anyway, man. Hey, look, man. Boohoo Man Collection. Bomber zip up denim. Uh, not denim, but uh, a zip up jacket. It's like a like a bone color, real clean. Um, we got the uh crew neck, crew neck white tee on. You feel me? You dig? You dig? Um, we got a little, a couple of jewels on. You feel me? Nothing too major, like a pimp with a pager. You feel me? Um, I'm feeling fresh. You know what I'm saying? Zoom on down. Hey man, you know we got, you know we Gucci because we always Gucci. You feel me? Um, a little distressed denim. You feel me? And um, zoom in on the kicks. You know what I'm saying? The kicks. Hey man, y'all slept on these guys, man. Uh, I think about these, what, two years ago they came out, man? 2017, about a year and a half ago. And um, this is my second time wearing these guys, man. Hey man, zoom in on the kicks, man. Let them see them, let them see them, let them see them. You know what I'm saying? Hey man, let me put them up here for y'all so y'all can get up. How they look up here, man? Y'all wish y'all had these, huh? If Hey, they ain't going for too much on StockX if y'all do. But you know I mean, you know your boy Ron got so make everybody wanna go cop. You feel me? But um, hey man, I know dopeness. I know dope sneakers when I see them. You feel me? So uh I just buy what I like, man. You feel me? And um that's how I'll be rocking out with this vlog, you feel me? Uh, hey man, like I say, review on them uh Puma RS X toys. That's coming soon. Um, like I say, pretty much I'm gonna sit out January, you know what I mean? Not too many sneakers I'm digging, you feel me? Not too many sneakers I wanna cop. But um, you know, it's a chance for your boy Ron got sold to save a little money and recuperate from the holidays, you feel me? But um, hey man, I'ma still keep bringing these dope vlogs, dope content, you know what I'm saying? And um, that's how we rocking out, you feel me? It's your boy Ron got sold. Smash the like button, hit the comment, comment down below, hit the hit the notification bell to get notified when I'm dropping dope dope content like this, you know what I'm saying? Cause I'm the freshest and flyest in the game, you feel me? You feel me? So um, to the next cop, to the next drop, it's your boy Ron got sold, and we out, man. The way you move, yeah, uh. I can lie, I lie.